Understanding the Income Gap Hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk about an important concept that affects economies and societies around the world. The Income Gap. You may have heard this term on the news, read about it online, or discussed it in a class. But what exactly does it mean? Let's dive into this topic and break it down together. Remember, understanding terms like these is not only beneficial for improving your English but also for gaining a better insight into global issues. The phrase, income gap, refers to the difference in earnings between two groups. In most cases, we're talking about the difference between the rich and the poor, but it can also apply to the disparity between genders, races, or even countries. When we say there's a large income gap, it means that there's a significant difference in how much money people are earning. This gap can have a big impact on how people live, affecting their ability to buy homes, access education, or secure health care. Understanding the income gap is crucial because it often highlights issues of fairness and equality in a society. A large income gap may indicate that wealth is not distributed evenly, and that opportunity is not equal for all. This can lead to social tension and has the potential to cause economic and political instability. The income gap is also a measure of economic health. Countries strive for economic policies that ideally create a more balanced distribution of wealth, which is believed to contribute to overall economic growth and stability. To illustrate the income gap, consider a country where top executives make 50 times more than the average worker. This is a clear example of an income gap. Another example could be the difference in earnings between men and women where, in some places, women earn significantly less than men for doing the same job. We can also look at this term on a global scale. The income gap between developed countries and developing countries can be vast, with people in developed countries earning more and having a higher standard of living on average. Countries and organizations attempt to reduce the income gap through various policies, such as progressive taxation, where higher earners pay a larger percentage of their income in taxes, or social programs that provide support to lower-income individuals. Education and training programs are also seen as key ways to close the income gap, by giving people the skills they need to secure better-paying jobs. I hope this video has helped clarify what we mean by the income gap and why it's an important issue in today's world. By understanding such terms, we're better equipped to engage in conversations about our economy and society. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos that can help enhance your English and expand your knowledge of critical global issues.